Good evening, Dr. Carmen, Madam Chairperson, for our curriculum committee meeting and members of the board. First of all, I would like to publicly thank Samuel News and Valley Morning Star for attempting to clear up some of the confusion about the cost of the Model Schools Conference. However, it appears that the message um, may still not be clear as there are still some questions and some incorrect information um, being distributed. Therefore, in an attempt to clarify information that has been misrepresented or misunderstood, I would like to share the cost for the Model Schools Conference again. But before I do, I would just like to provide a quick summary of what was presented at the April committee meeting. Um, at that time, I reviewed some of the findings from our curriculum audit and also our reimagined strategic plan strategies and how that ties into the work and the partnership that we have with ICLE. Also, the work with ICLE creates a common language and helps make effective use of technology that is being provided through the one-to-one one one technology initiative. And as one of the teachers shared during her reflection, that it is not just about having technology, but about how to use it effectively to support student learning. I also shared the progress towards, um, progress towards the goal of 25% of our lessons meeting the quadrant D status. Um, and if you recall, we were, way, we were at least above our 25% goal. The ICLE strategies focus on lesson design and delivery while providing consistency across the district K-12 and as we move to a blended learning approach. The consistent instructional protocol will ensure that instruction is being delivered at the higher levels of rigor and relevance with fidelity. This is essential to the education development of all students of Samuel CISD and not only our English language learners or our special ed students or our at-risk students as was quoted in the Valley Morning Star. So this will benefit all students. We also reviewed the positive survey feedback that we have received from teachers and administrators after professional development for them. Um, in addition, I shared the exciting news that San Benito CISD was selected as one of eight districts out of over 300 districts that applied to present at the Model Schools Conference as an innovative district. This is the first time San Benito will be presenting at a national conference. I also stressed upon the fact that the majority of the cost for the Model Schools Conference comes from our Title I Part A federal funds. In fact, 76.8% comes from federal funds and 23.2% comes from our local funds just for the Model Schools Conference. So with that being said, the next slide shows the breakdown of the cost for Model Schools Conference. So again, we can see that registration is $21,475. The travel is $16,493.11. The hotel, the, the attendees staying at the Gaylords, $42,590.60. The participants staying at the Westin is $15,904.04. And the meals, um, what is allocated is $13,312.50. And the total for the conference is $109,775.25. And it is not $455,914.55, as was quoted in the newspaper and is, is out on the streets. <clears throat> so once again, 35 individuals will be attending the Model Schools Conference in Washington. Now, one of the, one of the questions that was that was brought up at the end of the presentation was why only four teachers? So looking at that, we, I did some research and we actually found that there is a rigor, oh, I'm sorry, that's right, model schools was number one, I'm sorry. Any questions about model schools? Mr. Ramirez, I, th I thought I heard you say Title I Part A, but it's Title II Part A. I'm correct? sorry, Title II Part A, I stand okay. corrected. I, I may have misheard you, I just wanted to be clear. Okay. Any questions about the model schools expenses? No, actually, I want to commend you again, ma'am. Uh, yeah, you've cleared up this, this conversation about four to five times now. And, you know, I, I think one of the major things that we, uh, you know, as a board and what we got elected to do is to make sure that we, we stay focused on what actually, you know, uh, matters, what mm -hmm. material actually gets out there that matters mm -hmm. mostly. And one thing that I want to, you know, once again, tell our parents and reassure them is that we need to focus on what model schools really mean. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think it's, a, it's an honor to be chosen as model schools and what our administration has done and our teachers collaborate with all our staff mm -hmm. to get to this point. You know, it's not about the money. The money, you know, they want to talk about the money. Well, the money we're going to invest back in our staff, you know, yearly. 
you know, and that's something also very, very important. Mm -hmm. But I think we cannot, you know, uh, for me speaking, speaking, I've said this from the beginning, I'm not going to put a price tag on a kid's education. You know, there's just no way. So, you know, uh, I just want to commend you because it takes a lot of time, okay? This is like the third or fourth time we have this. Uh, and I know it's, you know, it's been extremely frustrating. Um, I don't know how many times we need to say it, how many times we reiterate it in different types of slides. But the main focus here is, you know, model schools, innovative ideas, that this district is moving in a positive direction, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I just want to thank you all so much, uh, from Dr. Carmen down to his administrative staff, down to our teachers, our principals, and all that, because I know they've gone through a lot, uh, you know, through this, through this whole ordeal. But uh, I just want to thank you all so much. Appreciate it. Now I'm going to talk about number two, the second one. Uh, number three, presentation by the Director of Professional Development in regard to rigor, relevance, and relationship conference held in June 2019. Okay, as I stated, one of the questions that was brought up at the end of the presentation was why only four teachers, and that is a valid question. So I did do some research, and also in talking to Mr. White and Weston Kieschnick, who also have worked with our district, uh, they shared that they are speaking at the Rigor and Relevance and Relationships Conference that is being held in Cypress, Texas, which is in the first week of June. Mm -hmm. So attending that conference will be three principals and 29 teachers. And when we look at the cost of that conference, registration is 14400 The travel will be $1,896.88. The hotel is $7,639.92. The allocation for meals is $6,272. And for stipends, $11,600. And this is because our teachers are off, cal off their calendar, so we will pay them stipends for attending. So the total cost for the Rigor, Relevance, and Relationships Conference is $41,808.80. Where is this? Cypress? Cypress, oh, Cypress, Cypress Texas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Houston, somewhere near Houston? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Are yes. they flying? No, because it's in Texas, they will be driving. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make that clear. How many teachers? 29. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and three principals. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next item, number four, review discussion of the Texas Curriculum Management Program Cooperative Agreement, TCMPC, for the 2019-2020 school year. Yes, ma'am, we're asking to consider adopting, or we're, this is our current uh, curriculum, and we're, we've set uh, recommended that we keep on using it and we're looking at design delivery okay. uh, option number two that's what we got last year and that's what we're going to continue to use that's our teach resource system and that's the the uh, training that we send or we sent 150 t teachers to last year wow. and that we will send 150 teachers to or 150 more teachers this year as well in san antonio but we ask you please consider uh, using that curriculum and adopting this. Okay. Agenda item. Number uh, five. Review discussion of memorandum of understanding between San Benito, CISD, and the Committee in, uh, Communities and Schools Incorporation for the 2019-2020 school year. Yes, ma'am. We are asking that you please uh, consider approving this. I know that the CIS people here, uh, they've met they've met, and done several uh, presentations quarterly. Their dropout prevention for our kids, and they've been with us for over 15 years. Yeah, they do a pretty good job. They come here quarterly to present. Uh, so, agenda item. Uh, agenda item? Yes. Uh, number six, review discussion of memorandum of understanding between the San Benito CISD and NINOS Ninos Incorporation Head Start, Early Head Start program for the 2019-2020 school year. Yes, ma'am, this is just an extension of last year's MOU with Ninos. We will have three, uh, 
three elementaries participating for up to uh, 100 children at uh, Encantada, Roberts, and Booth Elementaries. Agenda item. Agenda item. Um, number seven, any committee concerns? No. Okay. And then we're adjourned. <laughs> Thank you. 720. 720. Thank you.